This is the Bulolo Library underneath. Kas Anduwari and his family take shelter. They've been living here for six years after they were displaced during an ethnic clash. In the last six years, the displaced Sipic settlers have been waiting for relocation. But Kas Anduwari and a few other Sipic leaders say the process is slow and they've been kept out of the loop. What is it that uh, will benefit us have, have never been told to us. We've never had any open forum perhaps to tell us exactly. So we still kept in the dark since 2010 up till now. Living under the library is difficult. Kas Andoari, his wife, daughter and grandchildren all sleep under the building. They've built a small kitchen and tried to make their stay here more comfortable. Very, very frustrating. And the youths have gone impatient, causing all sorts of little problems here and there, giving us committee the hard time to settle that. Bulolo District Authority CEO Tai Gwambalek says surveying has been done to land earmarked for the displaced and it will be allocated accordingly. Wait him approval, application you go long survey general law and those him display subdivision you come now and then we play by going to some form of agreement when the man who said by me plugging game and they will apply for it through the normal process law application law lands look similarly subdivisions. We were able to do that on the groundway ME awesome established uh, Undeveloped at least areas plus state. Emba uh, miplay, miplay all on this plan. And otherwise, I'm outspire line long only at maybe put miplay subdividing to make it more official. Sipic leaders are skeptical about the land earmarked for the relocation. The land is tied up to a mining lease, and some of the hectares are also classified as government wasteland. The leaders say they may have problems later on and may be forced to leave the land again. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Bulolo.